Alright, let's find some fruit then. Oh, they look good. Alright, that's good. Very quiet, isn't it? Well, I am back in England. Back with my uh, little one. You say hi, Heidi. Hi. Hi. Oh, so glad to be back. And the weather has been amazing. I seem to have brought the sunshine home with me, which is lovely. So Heidi and I are just off on a breakfast picnic. Ooh, ooh, push my glasses back up. We are just off on a breakfast picnic, uh, making the most of this morning. Peter is away in Germany this week. He's gone on a boys trip to uh, Nürburgring. Uh, my parents are away on holiday, so it's just me and Heidi. Um, my sister is around, but she's uh, nine months pregnant. She's expecting about two weeks time. So uh, she just wants to have a nice quiet day on the sofa, which is understandable. Anyway, we're just gonna go and enjoy some breakfast out in the sunshine. <laughs> I love all the cow pastures out. It's just lining all the roads around here. Heidi's found a picnic spot amongst the flowers here. Yeah? Perfect spot. Perfect little helper here. So just a simple selection. Pastries, some organic yogurt and some fruit this morning. With the best company in the whole wide world. It's you. And a lovely view. Yeah, you picked a perfect spot Heidi, well done. Abbey, so that was once the wall, sweetheart. There used to be a big church here. Is it broken? Uh, yes, it got. I can see, I can see like a going. It got taken apart when King Henry VIII ordered the dissolution of all the monasteries because he wanted all of their money. It's rude. It was a bit rude, a bit of a naughty king. How's that strawberry, babe? Amazing. Ooh. It's really good. Mm, very good. Can we take the top off? No. No. Thank you. You're welcome. It's just a really nice that's strawberry. <laughs> Did you enjoy that one? Mm. A bit of slurping. We had some yeah. strawberry juice. It's so nice when we can go get our own out the garden. I know, right? I'm gonna eat it. Oh, one of the strawberry.
it's another really, really gorgeous day here in Derbyshire. Um, I've come out up the road to a place called Felly Priory. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you'll have seen it back in March when I came, having a look at the daffodils and showing you around. And um, yeah, so today I am back. I'll link to that video above in case you are interested in watching it. Um, but yeah, today I'm back. I want to see if the bluebell woods are out because they have stunning, stunning, gorgeous woods that are full of bluebells. And um, they also have an amazing garden for peonies and roses at this time of year. So I am gonna just have a little look around and see what's out at the moment. Goodness me, these are late tulips. I just found out the bluebell woods are closed. <laughs> I missed them. No roses on this archway yet. But you can see they are getting so close. Let's focus that. Focus. There we go. Look how many heads are on there. So many. This is going to be absolutely covered with them soon. So remember last time I was here, all of those were just bare branches. Now look at them. All of those rose bushes are just laden with buds, ready to burst. Beautiful. I am such a fan of this time of year when all the cow parsley's out. It's absolutely stunning. The way it lines all the roads, the hedgerows, all the fields are full of it. It's just so, so pretty. So delicate. I mean, look at that. It just has a way of making everything look so beautiful. I'm loving this wild orchard. Feels like I'm having a little wander through my own secret garden here. I came for the peonies and the roses and I am just blown away by this incredible orchard with all this cow parsley. It's just like walking through a dream. So pretty and the sunlight, oh, absolutely loving it. Look at this beauty. 